Welcome to NCIX Tech Tips. Today we are revolutionizing your ability to be lazy. Gone are the days of being a geek and reading forum posts about how to wirelessly pair this with that and whatnot. Today we're going to explain to you what near field communication or NFC is. Okay, it doesn't quite work like that. You'll have to watch the rest of the video. Jeez, calm down. Alright, so NFC is something that isn't exactly new, but it's definitely gaining in popularity. We'll start with the basics. NFC only works from within a very short range, about 10 centimeters max, although generally speaking with the way the software is implemented, you pretty much have to tap devices against each other or wave them very near to each other with very close proximity. That's very redundant, but I hope you guys get the point. It only works from very close range. Now you may have heard of something similar called RFID. It's even more likely that you've seen RFID in action than NFC. Credit cards branded with PayWave or PayPass utilize RFID technology, but uh, it's a little bit different. RFID is read-only, which means that the information that is sent from your card to the reader cannot be returned. It's, it's just one way. NFC builds on that technology and allows for full two-way communication between devices. So a couple of the ways that NFC gets used is, for example, in the Jelly Bean revision of Android, Google implemented an NFC functionality that allows you to basically just tap devices together and it'll fire up Bluetooth and then instantly pair those devices. So there's no more fumbling around with searching for devices and entering pairing keys and stuff like that. You just tap and you're good to go. Uh, Samsung Galaxy devices use an NFC technology that they brand as S-Beam, except that instead of using NFC to enable Bluetooth, they use it to enable a Wi-Fi direct link between the two devices for ongoing communications. You can use that for file transfer and all kinds of other cool stuff. Uh, Wi-Fi direct also has the advantage over Bluetooth of being much higher bandwidth, supporting up to 300 megabit per second. Now, many smartphones these days have NFC, including Google Nexus devices, Blackberries. Uh, this HTC One also has it. So today, we're going to show you one of the most basic things that we have ever shown you on this show. We are going to use this Android device and NFC to pair it to this Bluetooth speaker from Arctic that also supports NFC. And uh, the script just says, do it, Linus. I'm not sure if I have NFC enabled on my phone. So that will be a problem if I don't. Now it's on. Aw, yeah. Hold on a minute. My portable battery bank here. All right, well, we're not sure what happened there, but it's working flawlessly now. So all I have to do is take my phone, which is not currently paired to this particular speaker, put it on there. Do I want to pair? Yes. Connecting. Reaching out to Lord. And there you go, Bluetooth speaker paired. Now that is just one of a ton of applications for this technology, and we're just starting to see the benefits. So all of a sudden you can start paying for your parking, opening BMW car doors. Um, you can even make up your own uses for it. So you can order programmable NFC tags. They're actually not very expensive. And set these around in common places in your daily life to control your phones. For example, um, in your car, you might have a phone mount. You can throw an NFC tag in there, and as soon as you pop it in, it opens up your navigation and you know, to, you can tell it to navigate to work. I don't know who wrote this script, but do you really need GPS navigation to get to work? I mean, what, are, are you just, are you sleeping in different places all the time? Is, do you moonlight as something? Anyway, um, besides, you can put it on your bedside table to enable your alarm. You could turn on a sleep tracking app. You could silence your ringtone, all kinds of cool stuff. So we actually bought a few of these and they're on their way. So in an upcoming Tech Tips, guys, you're like copying my idea. I have a bunch of them. I'll, I'll make it before you guys do. So in an upcoming Tech Tips, we'll walk you through how to program your own NFC tags and use them to control your Android device. Because right now, Apple is not supporting NFC, although I think a lot of people wish they would. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to NCIX Tech Tips for more videos like this from NCIX.com.